Dusk falls upon the small village of right around the corner. Max and Uncle Pong, the great inventor, are sitting in the garden. Uncle Pong has just told a really scary ghost story. I'd like to do something exciting too. Ah, oh, Max, the world is full of adventures and secrets. You just have to look for them. Summer evening is fabulous. <laughs> Uncle Pong, what's wrong with your lawnmower? Engine trouble. I just can't find the fault. Thank you, Bottle. You're welcome, Max. He's getting fatter and fatter. Time to go to bed. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Teddy. Night, night, Doggy. Night, night, Toothbrush. Night, night, Pajamas. Night, night, lamp. Good night, my girl. Good night. Good night. Good night. to be Uncle Pong? Ah, that'll be a wonderful sweetie-making machine. A great idea. Then it'll be a real Pong sweetie-making machine. Hey, that's Clara. Back from the haunted castle. Oh, she's really worked up. lost his ghost power? Yes. This always happens when ghosts get hungry. And Willie's incredibly hungry. What do ghosts like to eat then? Oh, that depends. Willie, for example, only eats small yellow socks with lots of holes in them. Yellow socks with holes? Exactly. It's really quite simple. There are small yellow socks all over the place in the castle. 
really would look for them himself if he could only get out of the tower room. The door has been locked for hundreds of years. Now you must come and find the socks. Willie needs exactly 12 yellow socks if he's to get his ghost power back. Please come to the castle as quickly as you can. I'll be waiting for you. Uncle Pong, we have to help poor Willie. Um, uh, Max, I, I think um, I, I must invent the uh, sweetie-making machine. Uh, and uh, um, I think it will be an excellent chance for you to have a, a little adventure. Oh, what do you think? I should go to the castle alone. Of course. It'll be great. A castle full of uh, ghosts. That's just the right thing for uh, you. Should Max go to the castle? Yes? No. Yes. No. Y no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. As Max arrives at the castle garden, he seems to have lost most of his courage. But the mere thought of poor Willie expels his fears. It's not every day that one has the chance to collect yellow socks for hungry ghosts. This is the famous old castle, Mews Swinestein. Max can enter the castle here. Do you want him to? Yes? No? Yes! Willie! I'm coming! This is the castle's entrance hall. Actually, it looks quite cozy. Max is determined not to be afraid. Hello, Max! Don't be afraid! We'll help you! Huh? Who are you then? I am Fabian of New Schweinstein. 358 years of age. I am Magdalena of New Swinestein, 
and just 297 years young. Yeah, I'm Gustav of New Schweinstein, 502 years old. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I think it is very nice of you to help me out. Oh, it's nothing really. No problem. Oh, it's a pleasure. I spy, with my little eye, something, and it's brown. The shoes? Okay, you win. I spy, with my little eye, something that looks like a cow. I know, I know, it's Max. Right, that's correct. Like a cow? How did you work that one out? <laughs> Are you a... a... castle ghost? Very right you are. I am the dreaded Countess Gruzella Gruesome. You are little Max, I suppose. And you wish to find the socks for the little ghost, Willy? <laughs> I'll scare you wherever you are. That would be a wonderful thing to do. <laughs> I am Fabian of New Schweinstein, 358 years of age. I am Magdalena of New Schweinstein, and just 297 years young. Yeah, I'm Gustav of New Schweinstein, 502 years old. <laughs> found the yellow sock. As yellow as lemon juice. Now there are only 11 yellow socks missing. Hey, psst, you. What's up, Twitty? Are you asleep? Nope. black one, and Willy only likes yellow socks. What a pity! The sock is black, as black as the ace of spades. Oh no! I just can't stand it! Should Max enter this door? Yes? No. Yes! This is the pantry. Max has never seen such a huge oven. I wonder what they cook here. Kitchen.
last dinner I ever had was about 375 years ago. As the famous cook Pierre Le Pie served jellied roll neck pullover on potato balls with a lemon curd. For dessert we had pie in the sky. Never heard of Father Time? Oh no, not him again. The secret door to the cellar. Oh, the door actually looks like a cupboard. My word, Gustav. That's why it's called a secret door. Oh, yes, of course. It wouldn't be a secret otherwise. <laughs> I understand. Do you dare to go into the cellar with Max? Yes? No. No! He's discovered the dumb waiter. Do you think it still works? Oh, of course. That stupid old creep still uses it. Oh boy, I don't know whether I should go in there or not. is transported in castles in dumb waiters such as this one should max travel with the dumb waiter yes no no this is soxo hmm i don't like it very much myself but little Willie can't get enough of it. Just pour hot water over it. Leave it for 12 minutes and bon appetit. This is Soxo. Hmm, I don't like it very much myself. But little Willie can't get enough of it. Just pour hot water over it. Leave it for 12 minutes and bon appetit. Do you know Willie's favorite meal? Max stock. The ingredients are one well hung and washed yellow sock. A good sock is ripe to eat when it has enough holes in it. The sock should be then fried in a pan at a low heat until it steams up. Then it should be turned over carefully and served on a piece of toast. <laughs> Voila! You can, of course, stuff the sock if you prefer. I've got three wishes. You? Why you? Oh, silly me. <laughs> I'm always getting everything topsy-turvy. Red, light your nose in winter. 
No, red isn't the right color. Yellow as a sunflower. Willy will love the taste of that one. Hooray! A sock with loads of holes in it. Now there are only ten yellow socks missing. Should Max travel with the dumb waiter? Yes. No. Yes. Midnight. It's the witching hour. In the large banquet hall, the ghosts of New Swinestein are having their supper. When a ghost is old and experienced, it has to be especially bad-mannered. That's the spirit's code of honor. Nice. Max has discovered the singing carpet. Please play us a lovely spooky song. it like in the haunted castle? Unfortunately, I haven't quite finished my sweetie making machine yet. Only small red buttons keep coming out of it. I need one more bright idea. I hope that everything is all right. You're always in my thoughts. Your Uncle Pong. Uh-oh! Red buttons! I doubt whether that will work. Looks like a, a ghost train. 
Would you like to go on the ghost train with Max? Yes? No. Yes! Ghosts are splashing around with cold water in the bathroom. If they can't get rid of a stain in this way, there is always the washing machine. Soon be too fat to fly. together as soon as I've got my ghost power back. Best wishes, your Willy. Please tell Willy I will be back with all of the 12 socks as soon as I can. And yes, I'd love to be able to fly around. Okay, I'll tell him. Lots of luck, Max. You can do it. Yellow sock. Great, Max. A yellow sock. Now there are only eight yellow socks missing. Should Max enter this door? Yes. No. No. Yes. How does a ghost become a good ghost? It's hard work. They learn all the tricks how to scare humans in the ghost school. A ghost's staple diet is normally laid down according to the age of the ghost. Very young spirits like small yellow socks. 
whilst the somewhat older ghosts prefer striped underwear. The ancient experienced ghosts seem to have developed a liking for checked pullovers. Dear fellow spirits, it just cannot go on like this any longer. The humans are no longer scared of us. Where will this lead us? We have to practice, practice, practice. to be able to go through walls, too. Me too. We have to hang around here in these frames. <laughs> and, and that for hundreds of years, too. <laughs> Four-poster bed in the bedroom. Is that just a quilt? Or is a ghost sleeping there? Max wonders whether ghosts can have dreams. Ooh wee, Max! This sock has got lovely extra large holes in it. And it's yellow to boot. As yellow as a banana. Hey, Max, you almost look like a ghost yourself. Uh, it's just your feet. They don't seem to fit. <laughs> Under my crown. Then take a shower sometime. Oh, I'd love to, but how? So, little Max, time for a get 
interesting game. Which ancestor was known as Prince Wildhair? You were lucky. Which ancestor was known as Princess Lardpot? Just how does he know that? Which ancestor was known as Countess Trembleleaf? Damn, that's right! Which ancestor was known as Princess Big Mouth? That wasn't difficult. Which ancestor was known as Duke Cheerless? That wasn't difficult. Which ancestor was known as Baron Nohope? Should Max go out again? Yes? No. It goes back downstairs here. Should Max go down these stairs? Yes? No. No, yes! The castle is full of nooks and crannies. Here on the first floor are many passages, doors and stairwells. Max is not quite sure where to begin his search for the socks.
socks grow on here? It's a yellow sock tree. Hooray, a sock! And it's yellow as well. Now there are only five yellow socks missing. Do you want to go in this corridor with Max? Yes? No. Yes! Hello? Hello? Is that you, Willy? Yes, I'm over here, Max. Yeah! I'll search for your 12 socks, Willy. That's great. I'm so incredibly hungry. Willy, why do the socks have to have holes in them? Why do they have to have holes? Have you ever seen a sock without a hole in it? The holes are the best part. All the aromas in the holes. Mmm. Just the same as cheese. Oh, Willy, I'm off on my search now. I'll return with all 12 socks. Oh, yes. And when I've got all my ghostly power back, we can play together. That'll be nice. Bye-bye, Willy. Bye. There's a sock hidden behind that stone. Now there are only four yellow socks missing. Have you found a sock for me? Yes. Should I push it through the keyhole for you? No. If I am to regain my ghostly power, I have to eat all 12 socks at once. Okay, I'll carry on with my search until I've found all 12 of them. Do you want to go back with Max? Yes? No? Yes! Want to go through this door with Max? Yes? No? Yes! This is the library of New Swinestein Castle. The ghosts read the multitude of books all night long. I wonder if there are any socks hidden here. Um, once again, Mr. Pong is very close to a sensational invention. At the present, he declines to disclose any details. Would you like to go through this door with Max? Yes? No? Yes! Ah! A terrace! 
Max can see the small village of right around the corner in the far distance. There is light in one of the windows. I'm sure that's Uncle Pong, working on his invention. How did that red sock get here? Oh, I want Willie to come back and tell us stories again. Oh, yes! Mm, when is Willie coming back? Good old Willie. Well done, Max. You found a yellow sock. As yellow as the stars. Now there are only two yellow socks missing. Would you like to go back to the library with Max? Yes? No? Yes! Would you like to go through this door with Max? Yes? No. Yes. Should Max go through this door? Yes. No. Yes. Should Max travel with the dumb waiter? Yes? No? Yes! Do you dare to go into the cellar with Max? Yes? No? Yes! Ooh, it smells musty here in the cellar. And all this weird junk everywhere. I bet the ghosts could do with all this. Go back upstairs into the kitchen again? Yes? No? 
Yes! Would you like to go into the entrance hall with Max? Yes? No. Yes! Do you want to enter this door with Max? Yes? No. Yes! Ah, here is the smoking room. When the icy winter wind whistles through the castle, the ghosts keep themselves warm in front of the crackling fire. Look, Willy on the summit. And here, Willy at the seaside. Eh, uh, looks like Willy caught a fish. <laughs> oh, I visited the pyramids too, about 200 years ago. Willy on skis, what do you say to that? Yes, yes, those were the days, way back when in New Swinestein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 10th of April, 1862. Last count of New Swinestein expelled. Bodo von Swinestein refused to comment on his abrupt departure. Informed circles have disclosed the fact that ghostly howling regularly denied him a night's sleep. That Max has found a secret corridor. So he has. What do you say to that? The good old secret corridor. I'd completely forgotten about that. Oh, wow. Do I really have to crawl inside there now? Crawl into the fireplace? Yes? No? Yes, yeah, no! Now 
no, he doesn't like red socks. Red as bear tongues. No, no, he doesn't like red socks. Red as bear tongues. Socks for Willy. We are so proud of you. You're a fantastic super sock seeker. Uh, now you can go to Willy's tower and give him the socks. Should Max crawl into the fireplace? Yes. No. Yes. Would you like to go through this door with Max? Yes? No? Yes! Do you want to go in this corridor with Max? Yes? No? Yes! Hello, Willy. I found all 12 socks for you. I'll push them through the keyhole. Hmm. You're a real friend, Matt. Thanks a lot. Nom. <coughs> Come on, Max. We'll make a trial flight. Oh, yes! A supper in the gardens of a castle is something quite wonderful. The Pong Sweetie Making Machine is finally ready. And there is a plate of socks for Willie. And even the Countess Gruesome has joined the throng. Actually, she has great admiration for Max. Ah, Max, I, I'm so proud. 
proud of you. It wasn't easy, and sometimes it was really scary. Yes, yes, that pleases me. Although I have to admit that I have never met such a courageous little boy before. Mr. Pong, couldn't you invent a little raspberry juice make machine for me? Oh yes, and a yellow sock making machine for me. I, I, I think that would be possible, but um, first of all, I have to repair the lawn mower. a piece, Max? Uh, no thanks anyway. I prefer the sweets from Uncle Pong. That was an exhausting search. I think I'll have to get some sleep. <sighs> Do you want to carry on playing? Yes. No. Yes. No. So, my dear, as I am so proud of you, I'd like to take a photo of you all. 